four, three, two, one. We're going in. You two. Welcome to our YouTube family. Welcome to our shalom, YouTube family. Shalom. 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 Shabbat shalom, family. All right, Shabbat shalom. now we've shalom. got Shabbat shalom. YouTube in Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. This is family. All right, I'm going to get the recording going over here. All right. You're going to record. Sorry to I oh, sorry, to disturb you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just trying to. So from where do I put my speakers? All right, one second, fam, and we're going in. Good to see everybody here. Hey, hey, hey! Guess what? Three things in one. Can you imagine that? The power of Yahweh. We got three in one happening. And I think it's the only time it happens like this. It might happen one other time. I'm going to verify it. But there's three appointed times Hello. happening at the same exact time. I don't know if y'all realize that. So I'm going in on that right now. I'm going to mute everybody and then we can come back on, on unmute. Big shout out to our YouTube channel. But I'm going to break down some awesome stuff for us today. Then we'll open it up. You know, we have our online gathering where people can chime in, all those good things that are happening at the same time. I'm so proud of the Promote the Truth community. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all growing. You know, all we did was hit the live button and everything went crazy. People came from all over the place. We just hit live. My wife. Y'all blame that on Lena. Lena said, honey, you just got to go live. So all this stuff you got going on while you're translating, while you're doing all the, uh, the, the stuff with the team, the production team, all the knowledge you got, you should just hit the live button from time to time. It's so funny because over all those years that we've been on YouTube, Facebook, I just, you know, I went live a few times on Facebook, recorded it, put it up. You can go back. And you can see the very first videos that, that we did were Facebook Lives that we took the recording and we dropped it on YouTube. We're busy doing Yahoo's work, getting the word out there, because hardly anybody on earth knows Yahoo. Like, that's amazing when you think about it. So the most important word in the world is Yahoo. The most important, it's the most important word ever is his name. And yet... How could almost 8 billion people, if you went and you polled 8 billion people, it's going to be such a minuscule amount of people that have any idea about the name Yahuwah. When I found it in 2007, May 2007, you couldn't find his name in Google at all. You put his name in Google now, you're going to have thousands, if not tens of thousands of sites and pages and articles. They're going to come up. They're going to be all over the place. You want to know why? Because Yahuwah said he is renewing his name. Go look at Hazu, Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. It's going to tell you that he's renewing his name. So what's the big deal about right now? I mean, what's like, what's the real big deal about right now? This is maybe one. It might happen another time. I got to go check. I got to go check. I got to check on Sakut, maybe a couple of things. But right now. Right now, you have the Pesaha happening. The Passover is live and in effect right now, okay? Right now, right now, you have the Feast of Matzah, which is the Feast of Unleavened Bread happening at the same time the Passover is happening right now. And right now, at the very same time, you got Shabbat. The seventh day Shabbat is happening right now. Three appointed times happening all at once. We should all say, hallelujah, because we are here. We are present. We are obedient. We are observing his appointed times that he told us to do. And for many of you, this is the first time. And you got an opportunity to get it right. You got seven appointed times as far as feasts coming up. You, you can be, now you can be honorable to Yahuwah for the first time. Many of y'all been on this earth for decades, upon decades. 
And guess what? You never kept his appointed time. Y'all was like me. I didn't know. 10 years go by, 20 years go by, 30 some years go by. I didn't have any clue. You know, think about that. Some of y'all got 40 and 50 and 60. Melanie, when did you finally pick? All right, so Melanie's going, Melanie's up there starting to tick up on 70, looking like she's about 34. And and Me Melanie's like, I had no clue. Melanie, six decades flew by you. You didn't almost have no seven. clue. Almost seven. seven. Almost seven decades flew by. And here's his name and his words sitting on the earth the entire time. And guess what? No, no, nobody knew. So let's go break it down. We don't have to guess. We don't have to hope. We don't have to wish. We don't have to wonder because we're on point. You see, those of us that love him, even before you knew his name, you got that burning thing. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You got that burning thing down in you, right? You know what I'm saying? Your mind, you just got it in you. You're like, man, I just, I want to do the right thing. Some of y'all sit up in them churches and you watch that circus going on. And some of y'all even did it. Y'all did some hollering and shouting and yelling and getting the fan put on you. <laughs> like my grandma used to bust out. <laughs> my aunt used to flip over the chairs. Preachers jumping off the stages. One preacher jumped off, broke his ankle. <laughs> Got a full 3D comedy circus going on and we all start sitting there those of us those of us those real ones we sit there we go something ain't right about this something's not right this don't feel quite right so i'm going to give you the word of yahuwah from the true scripture shamut chapter 12 man i hope y'all enjoyed y'all how many y'all how many of y'all, it was your first, put in the chat if it was your first time. You got to make sure you put your message to everyone because y'all sending me the messages. Put Make sure that on the little, there's a little box that's everyone. Don't send it direct to me. Let everybody see your stuff. All right. How many of you, this was your first Pesach Passover? Wow. Heather said, just turned 47 yesterday and just learned. Hey, in, in the nick of time, you can have all of it right. Look at this. Y'all look in the chat. How many over there on YouTube? How many this is your first time where you like, man, I, I, I observed Pesach, the Passover. I did it. My first time. How many is your first time you were observing Matzah, the Feast of Unleavened Bread? First time. It's amazing. Tomorrow, when that sun comes, when the dawn cracks, first little crack of dawn, you're going to be in to the Feast of First Fruits. Now, I'm going to do a special live stream tomorrow for First Fruits because it's critical. Why? Because it represents that Yahusha, he resurrected from the dead. He came back to life and he's the first one to resurrect from the absolute dead. He's the first one to resurrect from bona fide dead. So I'm excited to be able to bring y'all that message. All right, let me see what's going on over here. Lena, make sure the team's keeping track of what's going on, on YouTube. Make sure we tight over there. Look, even my daddy, my daddy just turned 77. He got a 55-year-old son. I've been following Yahuwah for over 17 years. So I'm in my, my I was in my late 30s when I found Yahuwah. I told my daddy within 24 hours. I said, you better call on Yahuwah. And yeah, you know, that sounds right. He used to be a Jehovah Witness for a while. He came out of the Baptist church with the Jehovah Witness. I said, Daddy, it can't be, Je it can't be Jehovah Witness. There's no J, less than 500 years old. He's scratching his head. He's like, what? He couldn't understand it. He couldn't get it together. And all of a sudden, he just stayed there. Look, a lot of y'all, y'all listen to me. There's a promise in the scriptures, but it has everything to do with your faith. See, some of y'all looking at your family's faith. Don't worry about them right now. You just witness to them. You drop the seeds and you just keep moving. Because for those of us that get to a certain level of faith, Yahuwah said, I'll save your entire household. How many of y'all love that? Right? He says, because of you, I'll come and turn their hearts 
And some of them might be hard as rocks looking at you. That's why you can't get emotional about this. Y'all listen to me. You got to take emotion out of this. Marquis said, first time. Lene, first time. You cannot be emotional when it comes to witnessing for Yahuwah. You can be emotional in your love for him. Have full passion in your witness. But this is one of the greatest disciple disciplines you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to literally go look in the mirror and say, and Melanie, you understand what I'm saying? You got to go look in that mirror and say, I can't have a shred of emotion when I witness the people. That might sound crazy. Think about that, Brother Joe, Sister Abney. You cannot have a shred of emotion. Because when you have emotion, you're making it about you. You're acting like you're the message. No, you're not. No, I'm not. We're the messengers. And we got the great example. Yahushua was never emotional about it. <laughs> he just was steady about his business. He was here to deliver an important message. Goodness gracious, we over rocking on YouTube too. Wow, 60 some people already? Yeah. So what happens is we drop these messages. Now, why are we here today for matzah, the Feast of Unleavened Bread? I'm going to Shemut chapter 12. Mm-hmm. The Pasaha, we still in that too. We're in it. Why is this important? Yahuwah said in verse 12, 12, 12, Shemut, that's Exodus 12, 12. I will pass through the land of Matsuri that night, and I'm going to slaughter, that means kill, all the firstborn children in the land of Matsuri. Man, oh man. I don't know how many of y'all caught the children's message I did yesterday. My son and his friend impressed me to do a children's. Y'all should get all the kids to watch that message. Yahuwah was speaking through, through me, through me to the kids. And it's a, unbelievable. And I had to explain to the children that I want you to imagine a country. Egypt is massive. Does anybody know the population of Egypt? It's something ridiculous. Like right now, this kind of gave you an idea how it was back then. It was the beat, it was the of the entire world. It was the it was the ruling nation of the entire world. Watch this. I'm gonna give you an idea. This is crazy. This is crazy when you think about it. All right, right now, there's about 104 million people there. So we're talking about there's probably, there was a million, there's about a million Yahudim that was there, followers of Yahuwah. So now, and they were the slaves serving those people. So take it, what? We could probably go be safely go at least 10 times that amount, 10, maybe 20 million people there. <laughs> Yahuwah said, I'm going to come down on that country. A lot of times people think that that land is like a little spot. No. I'm going to come down on the country of Egypt. And what I'm going to do in verse 12, he says, I'm going to kill all the firstborn children in that land, both humans and the animals. Yahuwah said, I'm going I'm to tear stuff up. I will execute judgment against all the Allahim, all these signs, all these guys that people get hooked on, all these pagans. He said, I'm going to execute judgment on all the Alahim of Matsuri, of Egypt. And then he says something very emphatic. He finishes his that sentence with, I am Yahuwah. <laughs> Why do you think he would put that right there in the middle of him describing what to do? Think about that, Lisa. He going he to say that. Zoom. I'm coming to kill everything, everything in sight that's the firstborn. It's not going to be able to escape it. And then he gets done saying that. He goes, I am Yahuwah. Hiya, Yahuwah. That's the Hebrew words for you. Hiya, Yahuwah. Y'all know what that means? Hiya, I am Yahuwah. Then he says in verse 13, and the blood shall be your sign on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pasaha, 
over you. Pasaha means pass over you. No plague will destroy you when I strike the land. Man, I might even uh, I might even update that translation so people because the tr purpose of translation is for people to get the magnitude of it. That might need to say country of Matsuri. Fourteen. This day shall be a memorial to you, and you shall keep it as a feast to Yahuwah throughout all your generations. Think about that word all. And then he finishes that sentence with, this is a law forever. That's why we're here, fam. You see? Hey, the most Christian churches lied to everybody and said that part don't exist, Daniel. Daniel, kingdom business, Bacote. They're saying, Daniel, go in there and talk to your pastor and say, what does this law, this is a law forever mean? And they're going to give you 155 different angles of excuses, but tell them to excuse the word forever. And I'm going to tell you, when they pin completely down, they're going to say, uh, uh, you ready, Rush? They're going to say, uh, that's for the Jews. That's what they're going to say. When you pin them completely down, they're going to go, uh, 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 that's for Daniel. Uh, Danielle, they're going to say, that, that's for the Jews, sis. That's, that's, for, that's, that, that's not for us. See, we, we Christians. See, we're the Gentiles. Uh, and and uh, what had happened, <laughs> they're going to come up, Michael Fickey, they're going to come up with the message. What had happened was uh, Paul. Then they're going to Paul next. They're going to show, there's an, almost a guaranteed progression. What had happened was Paul came. No, oh, Paul came? Hold on, all right. Let's stick Paul and stick him in a box for a second. Who who was the who was the ones that walked with Yahusha on the earth? Why don't you quote one? What the, why don't you tell me where Peter said Kappa said that this is over? Tell me where Yahoo Hanan, the one that Yahusha said he loved, John. Tell me where they said it. Yaka, James. Tell me. Give me one quote where James said, this has been changed. Can you give me one? Luca. Markumi. Mark. Luke. Mattel. For sure, you're going to tell me about one of the first ones. You're going to be able to show me a passage where the tax collector himself, Matik Yahoo. Matthew, you're going to be able to give me one where he said it's over with, that this law forever is gone. Oh, you can't give me one, Pastor? How come? Why are you just talking about Paul? Why are you talking about him? And they're like, well, because that's, that's what he said over there in Colossians. Colossians, chapter 2, verse 14. It's been blotted out and nailed to the stake. Is that what it said? Show me where it says that. And guess what they're going to pick up? Y'all ready? They're going to grab this bucket of trash. They're going to pick up the bucket of trash. Oh, Holy Bible. From who? King James. Yeah, they're going to pull out this thing. And if they ain't going to pull this exact one out, they're going to pull the children of this one out. Guess what the children are? NIV. New American Standard. New King James. Amplified. Living. They're going to pull out one of them daughters and sons of this. He's going to say, oh. Where'd that translation come from? Where'd that translation come from? And they're going, uh, 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 uh. Well, you see, there's this thing called a Septuagint uh, and, and, and the Texas Receptus. I done been through all this, y'all. At the highest levels you could imagine. With some of the highest, quote, scholars in the world. I'm very calm when I ask these questions. Make a note. When you, Michelle, Eileen, when you ask questions calmly, you maintain full control of the conversation. Stop trying to explain to these people who don't want to know nothing. Just ask them questions so that they back themselves in a corner. This is a law forever. Keep going. Verse 15. Now we get into today. That quick. Soon as verse 15 of Exodus, Shemut pops up, 
Now you're moving into the purpose of today. Seven days, you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day today, you must remove leaven out of your houses. Have y'all done that? Everybody done that? You think, don't come on this, no, hey, this is a set apart gathering. This is what this is. This is for those that are set apart. If you just listening in, you better go repent ASAP. Get my instructions and then haul tail and repent right when this is over with. Because if you stay here and you partake of this, Yahuwah is going to come against you. I promise you, you don't want to mess with it. It'd be better you go on and enjoy this life. You better go, go to the clubs, go party, go do all that other stuff and just enjoy it. Because if you partake, you're going to have a situation in 18 circumstances. Here we go. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day, you must, it's mandatory, remove all the leaven, that's yeast. So y'all need to be in your cabinets like we did this morning. I can see my wife and her and Kyle are in there getting it. They read it. They, they've been working on this for the last several days, which is what y'all should have been doing, getting it together. They got coolers lined up, boxes. All right. And then all the stuff goes in those boxes, coolers, and go put them in the garage. Just get them out of the living quarters of your house. Get them out. Right. Just get it out. All right. I'm going to read this to you now. See if you're going to be obedient. You must remove all the leaven yeast out of your houses because this is why. Anyone who eats any leavened bread, so any yeast from the first day, until the seventh day, that person shall be cut off from Yisrael. You will not be able to come back to Yahuwah if you disobey this, because you will have done so willingly and knowingly. So don't do it. I wouldn't play with it. So you heard it. What's going on, YouTube? Y'all getting this? Man, it's growing on YouTube. We got almost 80 people over there. Put it in the chat, YouTube. You're going to be, hey, just say, I'm going to be obedient. Why go crazy and, and, and be scratching your head going, am I really saved? Am I? No, do the obedience things. These are things that you need to be doing. All right, hold on. Now we're doing this. What I'm reading, we're doing it. Verse 16, we're doing this part right now. And on the first day, and the seventh day, there you are to have a set apart gathering. So, this is a set apart gathering. No manner of work shall be done on those two days. So, we can't make money and we can't pay nobody to let them make money. We can't buy or sell and we cannot make any money on the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread Matzah and the seventh day, which will be the what they call the Pagan Day Sunday. So we got till, we got from this Sunday, I mean, I'm sorry, from this Monday all the way to Sunday. So watch this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So I didn't even want to say them nasty days. That's why I went, hey, hey. y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, on the first day and the seventh day, you are to have a set apart gathering. No manner of work shall be done on those two days except for the preparing for the food that you are to eat. Only that work may be done by you. All right. So today, we're going to do a couple things. Actually, three or, three or four things. We're getting all 11 breads out of our houses. Make sure it's out. All right. This morning, also, you should have burned up any leftover remains of your meat from the Pesaha, right? You should have burned it up. This is cool because the kids get into this. All right, now, we're going to eat some leavened bread today. Now, we go, we're going to eat it, my family, we're going to eat it when we do the set-apart meal because Yahuwah wants us to bring him an offering made by fire. So we're going to cook some meat on the grill today. Now, it's only like two times on Sabbath where you can cook. It's only like around two times, three max. And I'll point them all out to you. 
but you can actually cook food today, but you can't cook multiple meals. So you can't be cooking your eggs and toasting up. No, no, you're going to cook one specific meal, which is the one you're bringing to Yahuwah in remembrance of this. All right, here we go. 17. And you shall observe the festival of matzah because at this same time, I brought your massive regiments of people out of the land of Matsu. He brought them out. This is, this is amazing. So what happened was at the same time, this is good. Got to make a note. At this same time, I brought you, brought him out. Around midnight, he struck all of Matsu. Several hours after, they way up in the night. They marched completely out of, out of Matsu, out of Egypt. When that morning time came, they stopped. Because guess what was happening when that morning time came? When that sun cracked. It was Shabbat. So they're like, all the camps was chilling. They over there getting the fires. They done drug it. They had their bags of meat packed up. They went and burned up the rest of the lamb, whatever they had to burn up. And they were observing. They pay attention. He said, I brought your massive regiments. About a million people came out of there. Therefore, you shall observe this day throughout your generations. This is a law forever. Pastors, Christians, organized religion. Yahuwah said this is a law forever. Now he done doubled up on it. He said it in verse, what, 17? He said it in verse 14. He's like, I'm not playing. He said, I want you to make sure this is a, you know, it's a law for, forever. Then he backtracks. So Yahuwah is so serious about this. He didn't just say this stuff once. He did in verse 18, goes back and says, I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying. In the first new moon, on the 14th day of the new moon, starting at evening, until the evening of the 21st day of the, fir of the first new moon, you shall eat unleavened bread. Y'all catch that? People go eat me until the 21st day. You shall eat unleavened bread. Because you got the 14th day, right? In the evening. And then you go on those seven days of the new moon. I'm not talking about your Gregorian pagan calendar that they done thrust on us. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the real calendar of Yahuwah that tells us that a new month starts based on the new moon. It's pretty simple. That's what I'm talking about. All right? So he says, you're going to eat. And so every day, you pick your time. Just do it. Why? And I'm, I'm, I want to promise y'all something. You're going to start to see Yahuwah move in your life with extreme favor. It's going to almost be like extra. You're going to be like, this is a trick. I never knew I could, I could live like this. Hey, I go through tough times, hard times, but I always am smiling. I'm always having a good time. And Yahuwah always protects me through all the craziness that goes on in life, like it goes on for everybody, except everybody else don't got no protection. You will, and you'll have favor. Now, you shall eat unleavened bread during this time. 19, recapping, for seven days, there shall be no leaven found in your houses. None, no yeast. And anyone, whether a foreigner or a native born that eats any leaven, that person shall be cut off from the assembly of Israel. You see, you people ain't picked this part up. There was Guyin, Gentiles right around them the whole time. And some of those people were cool with the people of Yahuwah. And what Yahuwah is saying is, I know some of these people might even work with you, work or work, work for you, work around you. If they're within the gates of what we're doing here, 
They better not eat any yeast. It'd be better for them to get out of the gates than to hang out. Don't let them stay in your house. 21. Hold on. 20. Exodus 12, 20. You shall eat nothing. <laughs> then he go, he want to say, all right, you think I'm just talking about bread? No, I'm not. Verse 20, he says, you shall eat nothing that's made with leaven, has yeast in it. Wherever you live, you must eat unleavened bread. Oh, have y'all really picked up that part? Wherever you live, he knew the scattering was going to happen. So just in case you folks that love to not obey me says, no, 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 no. He was, because y'all heard this too. Anybody that's got any salt about him that's been studying, y'all have heard at one time or another, you're only supposed to do this in the land. In the quote, holy land. Anybody ever heard that before? Right? Yeah, you heard that? Okay, got it. Marky's heard it. Yeah, you're only supposed to do this in the, quote, holy land. And what they're talking about is they're talking about that land called Israel now. News alert. Flash. Everybody never forget what I'm going to tell you. That land is no longer the set-apart land. Do y'all know that? There is nothing remaining special about that land that they call Israel or Jerusalem, nothing. That land is where they shed the blood of the Most High. They killed him in that land. And what he said he's going to do is he said, this temple that y'all love so much, not one stone is going to be left on top of the next one. As a matter of fact, there will be a new temple Hakal, but it's going to come down out of the heavens, and I'm I'm a, I'm going to re I'm going to establish a new Jerusalem, a new land. Where is that going to be? Where's he going to do that at? Does anybody have a clue where he's going to do that at? Does anybody have any geographical clue where Yahoo is going to do the new Jerusalem? Think about that. Everybody thinks he's going to bring it down on the Jerusalem that's there. Just, I don't think he is. Maybe Africa. Huh? Maybe. I just, I, maybe Durant. I don't know. Here's what I do know. Everything that we see that exists now, he going to burn it up. We're not even going to recognize it. So what difference does it make where he puts it? You ain't going to recognize it. Only thing going to be laying on all this burned up stuff is dead bodies. That's what he's going to do. He says in Yeshua Yahoo chapter 66, verse 24, and we shall look upon their corpses. Those who were disobedient, that didn't love him, he's going to burn them up. So it's going to be a new Jerusalem. So watch. Verse 21. Look how meticulous they were. Then Masha summoned all the elders of Yisrael. And said to them, go at once and select lambs for your families and do the slaughter for the Pesaha. Take a bundle of hyssop branches and dip it in the blood that's in the basin. Then put the blood on the top of the door and on the two sides posts of your doors. None of you should go outside of your houses until Yahuwah passes by. 23, for Yahuwah will pass through and strike the Matsrim. And when he sees the blood on the top of the door and on the two side posts, Yahuwah will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to strike you, kill you. And you shall observe this occasion and these instructions for yourself and your descendants as a law forever. Now Masha says it. Yahuwah said it twice. Then Masha tells it. It's a law forever. <clears throat> When you enter the land, which Yahuwah will give you according to his promise, you shall observe this ceremony. And when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? You shall say, it is the Pesaha, the Passover, sacrifice to Yahuwah, who passed over the houses of the children of Yisrael. Yisrael got passed over 
for Saha over in Matsuri when he struck down the Matsurim and saved our houses. And the people bowed their heads and they worshiped Yahuwah. And the children of Yisrael went and did so, just as Yahuwah had commanded Masha and Aaron. And around midnight, Yahuwah struck down all the firstborn in the land of Matsuri. From the firstborn of the Pharaoh Parah's house that sat on his throne to the firstborn of the prisoner that was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of the livestock as well. Parah and all his servants got up in the night along with all the Matsuri. And there was a loud cry all throughout that country of Matsuri. There was not a home from the Matsuri, from any of the Egyptians, that did not have someone dead in it. Woo! Think about that. There wasn't a home that didn't have somebody dead in it. And Pyra called for Masha and Aaron during the night. When? During the night. And he said, rise up. Leave my people. I got to get out of here. Both you and the children of Israel, go and serve Yahuwah as you have requested. Take all of your flocks and all of your herds, as you have said, and be gone. But please, bless me before you go. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> Richard cracking up. Can y'all believe that? I'm going to tell y'all, this promise is for us. Those who come, because all of us here, we got some good old ripe enemies. All of us got, all of us here, we got one, two, three, four, maybe five good ones. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Raise your hand, you know what I'm talking about? Like people, they can't stand you. They just can't stand, they hate you. You know they hate you. And some of them are hee hee ha ha right in your face. Hee ha hee ha ha ha. Y'all know what I'm talking about? All right, now watch. Yahuwah is going to bring you up to another level as he's doing his restoration. I'm watching it with my eyes. And when he raises us up, they're going to say, blessed is the one that calls on the name of Yahuwah. They're going to call us blessed. And then they're going to say, hey, would you please bless me? <laughs> would you please pray for me? Would you please ask Yahuwah? Y'all going to watch what happens. Now wait. This is amazing. And the Masrim urged the people to hurry up and leave the country. Get out of here. They said, for otherwise, we are all going to die. <laughs> they were like, Yahuwah are going to kill everybody. He done sent frogs and flies and locusts, turned the water into blood, got hailstorm. This is crazy. Now he done killed all of our firstborn. Not one of our houses don't have somebody dead in it. Dead body smell everywhere. Imagine what they do to bury all them people. It's amazing. Y'all got to get out of here. It ain't enough though, y'all. So the people took their dough outside and they carried it on their shoulders kneading troughs wrapped in clothing and kneading with troughs wrapped in clothing. The children of Israel did according to the instructions of Masha. And then they asked all the Matsurim for their articles of silver, gold, and clothing. Give me your clothes. Can y'all imagine? Get, get, what is, can, imagine. Mamas and grandmamas are bawling, crying. Everybody, it's chaos. And the people of Yahuwah walk in, say, hey, uh, give me the gold and the silver. Uh, give me your clothes, too. Give me your toys. And they bankrupt that place. Watch. 36. Yahuwah gave the people favor in the sight, in the eyes of the Matsurim, so that they let them have whatever they asked. And they plundered the Matsurim. That means they bankrupt them. 
and the children of Israel journeyed from Ramses to Sakut. There were about 600,000 of them, not counting the children. That's what I'm telling you. It's about a million people. 600,000 not counting the children. A mixed multitude of other people. They don't even talk about this. There was a mixed multitude of other people who also went out with them. These are people that didn't actually follow Yahuwah, but was like, I'm with them. <laughs> Can you imagine Jermaine? Louis, Louis, you know it. If we was all there and we hadn't been following Yahuwah, right? And we weren't like, we were not an Egyptian. What would y'all have said? Uh, I'm going to go with them. Wherever they go, I'm going. Whoever they follow, I follow. Matter of fact, as soon as I can get to the right spot, will y'all show me how I can be like y'all? Because this is unbelievable what i just seen. This is unbelievable. We still talking about this. Go this ahead and baptize me. Years ago. Now watch this. A mixed multitude of other people went out along with droves of livestock, both flocks and herds. And they baked unleavened bread from the dough which they brought out of matzari. So that's how we know they didn't do it in matzari. They baked this today, matzah. It was not leavened because they were all rushed out of matzari. And they didn't even have time to prepare any food for themselves. Now the time that the children of Israel lived in matzari was around, was four, I'm sorry, 430 years. At the end of the 430 years to the very day, all the divisions of the people of Yahuwah left the land of Matsuri. It is a night to be observed thanks to Yahuwah for bringing them out from the land of Matsuri. This is that night of Yahuwah to be observed and remembered by all the children of Israel throughout all their generations. Hey, I'm a children of Israel. What are y'all? Yeah, I follow Yahuwah. Who y'all follow? Well, guess what? I'm still part of the generations. Hallelujah. 43, and Yahuwah said to Masha and Aaron, this, this is the statue of the Pesach. No foreigner shall eat it. Man, I checked everybody at my table last night. As Lena, as my son. We had some people over. I said, no, wait a minute. I know y'all say y'all called on Yahoo. Before we partake of this meal, I'm going through the commandments. That's what I did. Nobody can eat. I wouldn't touch this meal here. Unless you are in agreement with Yahuwah. That you got to repent, call upon his name. But I want to make sure that we're crystal clear. Do not have people over just to be cute. And because you got a nice table and everything, this ain't the time for that. So I made sure that, and I looked down, everybody got the shoes on. Yep. Everybody fully dressed. Yep. All right. Here goes the commandments of Yahuwah. Tell me if you can do these. These ain't hard. And I walked down through them. And there was a young man at my table, 30 years old. I got to the fourth one. I said, now I know you work a job, young man. So I want to make sure you understand this fourth one crystal clear. And I broke it down. And man, he started scratching his head a little bit. And he said, I know. He said, I've been doing it. He said, I'm a little nervous, though. That, you know, I might get fired. I said, well, don't you eat this meal. Unless you believe Yahuwah is going to restore and give you a better job. Or teach you to have your own business. Don't you eat that meal. It's best for you to get up from here and leave. And guess what? So I'm doing it. All right. Let's proceed. Y'all understand how to do this with Yahuwah? So you can't be, you can't tiptoe around this. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Yahoo will kill you. Try to not hurt somebody's feelings. See, I'm not here to teach you 
this little soft passive thing that they call G-O-D that loves everybody but don't hold no accountability. That ain't our Yahoo. You can see right here, he ain't playing. He killed all the, 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 the firstborn of an entire country. You think he won't kill you? He'll kill us. You think he won't kill us? Go ask Naha. Go ask Noah if he'll kill you if you ain't obedient. Go ask him. They ain't preaching this from the pulpit, are they? Which preachers up on the pulpit go, hey, y'all not obedient? The most high gonna kill you. They don't want to say that because them plates will get a little short. Mm -mm. But I'm telling you the truth. He goes, no foreigner shall eat this. Now wait. 44. But every person's servant may eat it after you've circumcised him. Ooh, we. So the so imagine all the people that came out with them. So I'm going with them. And then they say, oh, you with us, with us? Yeah, all right. Here's how it works. You going to work for me? Okay. Uh, you got to get circumcised. <laughs> Grown men. Boy, oh boy. He said, this is, a, this is how you can get in with us. You got to do these things. Now, why am I breaking that down? I'm taking my time. Because some people are going to say, hey, I got to do that today. The circumcision today, once you're past the eighth day of birth, the circumcision is the circumcision of your heart. Y'all understand? All right. So I got people come and ask this stuff all the time, man. Grown men. I ain't been circumcised. I get circumcised if you want to. You know, go under some good doctor's care because then you're going to be in some pain for a minute. But if you want to, do it. But you don't have to. I literally had grown men. I said, you don't have to. They go, woo. And then I've had some say, I want to. All right, go under good doctor's care, do it. Y'all, I'm being crystal clear on this because people are going to ask all these questions. Do you have to be circumcised? Listen to me, Yisrael. All of you that's going to have babies, on the eighth day of that baby, circumcise that baby if it's a boy. Y'all got that? Simple. It's in the scriptures. On the eighth day. Now, why is it on the eighth day you circumcise? You think Yahuwah is not off the hook? You see, in the hospitals, they like to inject these babies with this crazy amount of K1. Anybody know anything about what I'm talking about? Nurses, they, like, yeah. they want to inject them with this K1. The reason they want to do them is because they don't know about how to circumcise on the eighth day. So they circumcise the little boys. And that K1 is what allows the blood to clot up. But when that baby's on this eighth day, that's when the proper blood clotting sets up in a child. Did y'all know that? So on the eighth day of birth, that's when that boy is ready to be circumcised because he will clot properly to heal properly. Yahoo ain't missing nothing. All right, so the circumcision question should be over because Paul, Shaul, was dealing with this over and over because he was around all these Guyin, Gentiles. And we cover this in the new in the in the in the in important true scriptures. Y'all gonna love how it's laid out. Y'all gonna see it and go, oh, I understand. All right. Okay, after they're circumcised, they can participate in the Pasaha. And, it, what, and the reason they would want to do that is because now they enter in with Yahuwah. They're part of his. 45, but no foreigner or hired worker may eat of it. 46, it shall be eaten in one house. You do not take any of the flesh outside of the house. And you do not break any of the bones of the Pesach. All the assembly of Israel shall keep it. If a foreigner is residing among you, wants to celebrate the Pesach to Yahuwah, all the males of their household must be circumcised. Then let them come near and partake in it, like one, like one, just like one that is native born. But no uncircumcised male may eat of it. 
So if I got somebody sitting around, I circumcise. And, 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 and they say they're a grown man. I say, you can't eat of this unless you circumcise. They say, what do you mean? That means you got to be circumcised in the heart. You got to repent and call on the name of Yahuwah. See, you bring them into the new circumcision through Yahuwah Mashiach. Is everybody clear on that? All right. This same law applies to both the native born and the foreigner residing among you. All the children of Israel did exactly as Yahuwah commanded Masha and Aaron. And on that very day, Yahuwah brought the children of Israel out of the land of Matri by their divisions. Hallelujah! So thank you, Yahuwah, for giving us these disciplines that we can understand you. They say it is written, this is eternal life, that you may know him, the one and only true Allah, and Yahuwah Mashiach, whom he sent. So I just taught you the ways of Yahuwah so that you can know him and you can decide if you want to participate in him for eternity, with him for eternity. And so with that, Yahuwah wanted me to share that with y'all. Everybody should be clear. I'm opening up. Anything, anybody want to add? Anybody want to celebrate? Mike, open up and talk to me if y'all got something. Let's go. Shalom to everyone and happy feast to everyone. Good to see you, Brother Michelle. Shalom, Shalom to everyone. This is my first time joining you guys on the Zoom. I'm Brian Robertson. I'm so happy. I've been on this journey for a couple of years, but I was being led the wrong way. But I'm thankful, so we're not going to go on that page because I'm here today, and I just want to say thank you. And um, another thing, Brother Jay, what do I go to send out, you know, the pictures of what I did yesterday? Because I tried, I sent it to an email, and I don't think that's the right place. Well, if you send it to info at promote the truth dot com, they'll get it. And then okay. if you go to Instagram, which I'll put in the chat, Instagram dot com for everything is promote the truth. So Instagram dot com forward slash promote the truth. I'm putting it in the chat right now, Brian. Okay. Everybody can go grab that now. So did you celebrate? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, me and my wife. This is my beautiful wife. Hey, Eartha. everyone. Who is that? Who is no, that? Beautiful no, that's woman my, there. Who's that? No. That's my wife, Eartha Robertson. Eartha! Yeah. <laughs> to the kingdom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I was told a long time ago that, you know, because we're in the land of the captives, we're supposed to keep the Sabbath on their Sabbath. When I watch your video okay. and you did that teaching about Bear Sheet 114, I took that message back to the assembly that I used to attend. And, you know, everybody got online as, as far as uh, keeping the Shabbat on the right day, according to the new moon. But, brother, <laughs> the message that you bring with this word is so profound and you can't get around it. I had to make PTT my new home. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, brother. Where are you from, brother Brian? Brian, where you from? I'm from Fort Pierce, Florida. Yeah. Fort Pierce, Florida. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. What you got to say, brother Richard? Man, I'm rejoicing. The speed, the sheep come home. Your home, this is the place. Brother yes. Jay is purifying. This is what was professed in the scriptures by the Nabaim, the prophets of old. They said, in the final hour, this is it. There is no one on the planet that you who has not said, this is him. You better believe every word I'm saying. Be moved. And let the heart of those rejoice that speak your life. Yahuwah! Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yahuwah! Yeah. This is great, right. Yahuwah! Yeah. I'm so touched that I yeah. see on several yeah. of people. What's that, honey? I love the hats I've seen in different people. It looks oh, like everybody got their hats. Y'all the represent. Hat. Hey, your mommy, yeah. put your hat up there. Let them yes, see your hat. Yes, put yes, your yes. hat up there, Richard. Let them see your hat. Oh. They represent. Yeah. yeah. I got it today. <laughs> you got oh, it yeah. today. Yeah, cool. in London. <laughs> wow. So we got yeah. hat today. We got 144 hats. We got yeah. the, 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 the TSNT hats going out. 
Look, uh, we, yeah. ro- hey, we rocking y'all. We got almost 100 people on YouTube, fam. We all in here. We got, hey, we got about 50 people, people in here, about 100 over on YouTube. We, yeah. Hey, somebody must know that Yahoo is coming back. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is deep. What you yeah. got, Brother Jermaine? I think that you was talking about. Who is that? Who's coming in? I got, who's that? Who's that? That was Heather. It's Heather. Heather I can't get got, my camera Heather, to work. What you got? It's the great awakening that you was talking about the, that, the meeting we did last month where everybody that, everybody's waking up. And it's like, honestly, I got goosebumps right now because people are waking up and it's Yahuwah. It's not their G-O-D or the G S. It's Yahuwah and Yahushua. It's the true names. And it's, yes, I got giant goosebumps. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, Sister Heather. We see you coming. She coming strong. Wow. Yeah. Brother yeah. Jermaine, what you got for our new platinum? 23 year old Jermaine Ford, 23 <laughs> platinum. What you got for it, brother Jermaine? You know, you know, you, like it, you do, you do everything that you can to um, get it done. Even true. if, even if your life or whatever, there's no um excuses, you, you get but it you- done. Hey, show Thank that hat, put that, put that, put that hat up in the camera. Put that hat good, up in the look at that good. hat. Woo! Oh, man, proud old man. Look at that beautiful <laughs> hat. When you hit the bronze yes, package level in our campaign, we send you one of them. It's all going out now throughout the entire world. All the shipments taking place. The staff has been working their tails off. And y'all gotta look at y'all. Y'all gotta look at how special everybody here is. You see, and look, I want y'all to look at the faces. They they talk about the United Nations. They ain't nothing. Ain't. They're not, there's nothing united about the United Nations. Yes. This is the true United Nations. Those who call on the united name of Yahuwah. Yahuwah. government? Yahuwah. Oh, man. Look at Yahuwah. the faces. Hey, guess what? I'm going to give you a hot one. Yahuwah. Yahuwah. Hey, Yahuwah ain't no joke. Yahuwah. Yeah, I'm going to say something to you. Yahuwah is black. Yahuwah oh, is God. white. Yahuwah <laughs> is Asian. This Yahuwah is, is middle color. Eastern. Yahuwah <laughs> is whatever your color is. Yes, is who right. it is. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm going to present you in my the image. Has no Period. We are looking at the United we the Nations of <laughs> Yahuwah. What's Whoa. Yahuwah look like? What's y'all who it look like? Look at us. That's what he looks like. That's what he looks like. The unity. That's it. Ain't seen this kind of You can't find, I don't know. I've been I've been rocking with Yahoo for 17 years. I have not seen Marcella. You hear what I'm saying? I have not seen this type of movement in 17 years. I agree with you, Jay. You know, it's something that I seen. I got one more thing to say, and I'm going to get out of everybody else's way because I know other people want to talk. But I was sharing with my wife. I say, baby, you notice in the scripture, people would fall away from the ways of Yahuwah, but he would send a redeemer to get everybody back in line. Mm -hmm. Even in the time with Ezra and Nehemiah, at one time they didn't even know the Torah. And as they learned, they did what they were supposed to do. And Jay, I honestly want to say, I That's see you. this pattern coming back, and he's using you to get uh, everything. Say it again, brother. Back, right. Tell him. Tell you, him. Brother. Say it again. Tell him. Yeah. Tell everybody him. Back, right. Hallelujah. 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 You understand? You understand? This is the real deal. There's nothing this new up in the sun. And the father is doing it again. He's getting everybody back in line. Yes. And if you watch the scriptures, it's a pattern of this where we lost the ways of Yahuwah and he brought us back. And this is the train. Yes. Uh, that's all I got to say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all bear Hallelujah. witness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, over on YouTube, if y'all bear witness to what Brother Brian said, that hey, he's pulling it back together. You don't know who he's going to use. 
I didn't know he was using me. I'm out there. Hey, y'all gotta understand my life. If y'all, those of y'all get to know better, y'all going to wait a minute. That man was a professional athlete sitting there next to Ken Griffey Jr. What roommate was Alex Rodriguez in 1995? It was pulling me in that world. That world was just sucking me in, brother. Y'all hear what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, brother William? It was just pulling me in, bro, William. It was pulling. I could feel it. Them older guys in the major leagues was grooming me, too. They was telling me, here's how you do it. Now, look, you know, you get your woman in this city. You have your another woman. In it. And I said, that don't, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to live like that. Nah, this don't feel right. And it's like Yahoo just snatched me out of that, y'all. It's like, he, it's like, listen, I'm going to tell you, y'all can believe this is prophetic or not. There's only been one time in the history of Major League Baseball, only one time, that a World Series was not played. One time. 1994, when I was having my best year, about to go in and have my massive Major League career, the baseball strike hit August 12th. Oh man! It's just like Yahoo said, "No, nope, son, I'm not letting you go in that world." And he let the strike go on into the World Series. I'm just like, it's gonna, break it it's, it's gonna break it anytime. It's gonna break it anytime. I'm gonna go and get to fulfill my career. No, nope. Yahoo said, "Come out of there! Come out of there! Get out of that, boy! I got something for you to do." And I ran. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you the truth. I ran from y'all. I, I didn't know it was Yahoo. I ran from him. I told him, leave me alone. Whoever, I said, the creator, y'all, leave me alone. I'm going crazy. Why? Because the I, when I was dealing with the Baptist church, they was lying. I was dealing with the Seventh-day Adventist church. They was lying. My dad was rolling with the uh, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. They was lying. They tell a little bit of truth. And I said, this is driving me crazy. I don't want nothing to do. And I ran for a few years. And Yahoo wouldn't leave me alone. I didn't know his name was Yahoo. He would not leave me alone. He kept setting things up. He kept poking my brain. And finally, I submitted. That's what I did. I hey, everybody. Our big brother had to accept that calling, man. Come on, Joe. We tell wouldn't him have up. this PTT thing. If it was not for him, we wouldn't be here in this moment. So let's everybody right. give a good hallelujah for our brother Jay, man. Hallelujah. 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 You know, he's standing on business, man. Brother Jay, you're standing on the kingdom business, man. Ten toes down. We down with you, man. We got your back, man. We got your back. Look at look at the family here, man. Look at How's family. it making you feel, brother Daniel Bacote, kingdom business? How's man. this making you feel what you're seeing, what you're witnessing? Man, this makes me feel. Makes me feel I've been, I feel so much love, man, just seeing it, the children. Just seeing the brothers and sisters, seeing the elders, seeing the young, this young, young people, man. Just seeing, man, we all, we all going, man, we we going, man, we going that way, man. If you don't, if you don't believe, like, like, like the brother said, y'all might be losing everything I got standing up on this business, but you know what? I know deep down inside, from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, man, the Yahoo hit. Is anything too hard for Yahoo to do? No. 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 That's what he said, Never. right? Oh, of course not. Never. That's All things what he said, are possible right? He told, he told, he told, he told, he told, he told uh, Sh Shira, is it, is it? Shara. Shara. A.K.A. Is Sarah. Is too hard Abraham's wife. What do you say? Right. Anything too hard for me, Yahoo, to do? She was 90 years old, though, Daniel. Hey, what, what Gold Trill said, not your sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking them sandals. <laughs> Come on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming back over here. Archella, what you got? Archella got something for us. Wow. You <laughs> I, I have so much to say. I'm just thankful and I'm happy I have a new family. I've been waiting in Yahoo for so long for family and people that believe the way that I knew to follow me the way that I should go. And I'm just being thankful you know, to everyone's obedience and wanting to commit and follow by the way they should. And I'm learning so much. I, I have so much to say. I'm just, just, just family. I've been 
Mm-hmm. No, I think I so like much. it. <laughs> Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sis. William Pola, where are you coming in from, William? Tell everybody where you coming in from, William. William Pola, where are you coming? You, William got a word for us. Come off your mute, William. You was just unmuted. I want to hear William. I want to hear what Brother William got. He's been, yeah. he been one of our strong supporters. I ain't know William from nothing. Where you talk to us, William? Yeah, man. I hear you. Go. Magic. Shabbat shalom to everybody. Northern Ireland in the house. Yes. Northern Ireland. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling uh, about what you're seeing, brother, brother William? Gosh, well, like I said, it was just, I've been searching for years and years, and I've been studying for years and years, taking down all the wrong paths, following Dr. Miles Monroe and everything like that through the kingdom. And then, bang, last year, I had a tragedy in August. And uh, just after that, I came across Jay and Promote to Truth. And since then... It's all a learning curve, and wow, I've learned so much. And how, what it's like to have this lovely family, all this gathering, and especially I have to say thank you to Daniel, Daniel Libby for helping me to go from the the silver to the gold bed. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And I love That's you all, and thank you so much for everything that you do. And I'm here all the time, and. It's, I don't know. I'm lost for words. Thank you so much for everything. I love it. Look at that beautiful parrot he got on his shoulder, y'all. What's your parrot's awesome. name? That's called Ziggy. Parrot. He in the building representing Yahoo. Yeah. Ziggy. Yeah, teach you to say Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah, I'll Yahoo. get the Ziggy. Just I'll get Ziggy to say Yahoo. That would be a good one, wouldn't it? Hey, you got to do that. You got to do yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, Ziggy, come out and say Yahoo. Who's going to have the first parent to say Yahoo? He, he, he can make a donkey speak. He can make a parent speak. <laughs> I'll do that for you. Hey, Look at all these people on here, Lena. Lena, how you feeling? I, my wife is taking care of our child right now. I don't know if she's available to speak. But this right here, you know, Lena does so much with the team. Y'all just make sure y'all keep your sister Lena in, in prayers because she works hard with the team. Yes. Hey, do y'all know what's happening right now? We have an album being created, music of Yahoo. Uh, and so, right, I'm talking about is the I I actually wrote one of the songs and gave it awesome. to gave it to the studio. Said, all right, I want this recorded. We got some beautiful voice talent. I gave one of the songs. They're going in the studio tomorrow, I think, no later than the next day. And y'all gonna hear. And the, and I think the first songs coming out is put Yahoo first. And it's like, I'm telling y'all, when y'all are here, it's exciting. <laughs> because we're going to have so much un unbelievable music. It's going to be crazy. So, Lena, you got anything to say back? I'm very, very excited for everything that is happening. And seeing so many people doing the feast, the first feast of Yahua this year. Um, just really enjoy watching the videos, the pictures, that energy. I know Yahoo is enjoying all this and feeling that, that his word is spreading. That's why it's so important what we're doing. And you all are part of this. Like we have built this beautiful community and you all are just putting that piece. You know, you're if this is a puzzle, you all are part of this. Uh, mm -hmm. that Yahuwah has commanded us to do, being able to translate the scriptures and also not just transcribe the scriptures, but teach the right word to Yahuwah, teach every feast, teach uh, everything, the commandments, everything he wants us to do because mm -hmm. it, he's preparing us. So I'm very, very excited of, of watching every everything. Last night we had an amazing meal we burn um, all those bones. It took forever. <laughs> it was so big, uh, but it, it was so beautiful. And it rained, so it just it just felt really um, amazing. That feeling of you know doing what Yahuwah asks you to do and you being obedient. It feels really good and see your son learning about it. So I'm very happy for every one of you and. You know, today's another feast, tomorrow another feast, so three feasts right there. And sure. we all just 
you know, together doing this for Yahoo. So thank you, everyone, because uh, really bring a lot of joy to my heart. Hallelujah. Appreciate you. Thank you, Lena. We, we, we love you, sis. We love, love you, everyone. Man, it's 10 toes down for y'all. Hey, I see we got Nirob in here, all the way from Bangladesh. Nirob! Right. Yeah, Talk to shalom, him. everybody. I am hey, Nirob's in the building. He's part of the PTT you. staff now. He got us, got us moving down in Bangladesh, right next to India. There's about a billion people in India. What's going on? Give us a report, brother Nirob. But what's going on? How we how we spreading? Talk to us. Yeah, we are so excited. We are doing the kingdom business all over the world, and Bangladesh is waiting for Yahua. Yeah, hallelujah. 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 Yes, this is look, we swinging everywhere. Do I see my brother Robert Powell's again here in Budapest, Hungary? I could have sworn my brother. Look, we in Bangladesh. Now let's go to Budapest. What's going on in Budapest, Hungary, brother Robert? Hello, hello. Well, uh this this is what this was my first pa pasa uh properly. So actually a lot of things is happening in my life. Uh Actually, I, I told you that uh, when I immerse myself in in name of Yahua, uh, it seems that something uh, something uh, started to happening in the spiritual world. So everything uh, went upside down. But uh, and I'm I'm now fasting. I'm planning to do it uh, forty days. I'm now twenty three, and uh, and I I believe that uh, many good things will happen this year for me. But anyway, uh, what what happened with you and uh, and uh, I remember when when I spoke with you three years ago, two years ago, and when you told me that you are translating uh, uh, every day one one uh, section and so on and so on, and uh, yeah, I was waiting. So I was I was waiting to to see to to learn and so on, and uh, when you started uh, this. Uh, this uh, project mm -hmm. uh, through, through scripture, New Testament uh, uh, translation. So, this yeah, was a I just felt that that's it. That's we need it. So, and, and I still think that this is the most important thing in our life. Yeah, and uh, again, I have good big plans. So, I have to to translate it uh, to to Serbian and to and to Hungarian. So. Because you know, I, I'm I'm talking to my 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 friends and everything, but they don't understand English and they cannot uh, uh, learn. Uh, I, I don't know if y'all caught that. See, this is my close brother. He this is Diamond member, Robert Powell's strong businessman, but he's immersed in the Yahua. He's gonna be helping us translate the true scriptures into Hungarian and Serbian. Y'all give him some love for that. Hallelujah! Thank you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I didn't want I didn't want to cut you off, but I didn't want people to miss that. Yeah, we hit, hit up in the in the in the Caucasus Mountain area, right? Caucasus Mountains up, up in that area. We going, man. We going. That's right. So, so brother, coming. so brother Robert, you got any parting words for us, brother Robert Palsy? See yeah. You have any parting words for your brothers and sisters here? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love you all, and I'm so happy, and uh, and uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, so I'm, I'm looking forward to 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 read everything from from New Testament, real. <laughs> so yeah, and I, I'm enjoying everything. I'm even if if I'm not live here with you, but I'm listening every day. Uh, I'm up to date with every every live and everything else. So yeah, um, I think that uh, we we are in good place, good place at good time, and uh, yeah, and, and we have to 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 tell everybody about what we what we have found out here. And thank you, thank you, Jane, and thank you, Lena, for everything you are doing, and thank you to all of of you here because uh, you know. Uh, Jay and Lena wouldn't be enough to 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 spread the world. Love you to all. Love Thank you, brother. You. Hey, give your family a big hug. That's our diamond supporter, Robert Powell. He was the first person to contribute to the True Scriptures Project. Very first. 
And he just kept going. He's always consistent about it. And so, you know, this has been a powerful message. We wanted to be able to do something special. I'll have a special live stream. Now, on the seventh day, which will be this upcoming Sunday, we will have another set apart gathering like this because it's commanded. So we'll do that again. That closes out the feast of matzah, unleavened bread. Everyone do your best. Like, give Yahuwah your, your first fruits. That's why, like, like, tomorrow. That means the best of you, right? So, like, as we as we go on throughout the day, the major purpose of the feast of matzah is to remove the yeast is to know that Yahuwah Mashiach removed our sins. All of us were dead in our tracks. And if we hadn't come to this knowledge, we we would be dead in our tracks. Absolutely. And so now you've come to this knowledge and you can have this full confidence. You don't have to guess or wonder. That's why the True Scriptures Project is the most important project in the world. I'm sitting there translating it and I'm telling y'all, this is it's changing me by the day. Like I'm going to some other atmosphere every day because I'm going this right here. The world has to know it. We got to tear it down. Hey, family, we got enough people here. It says we're two or more gathered. Two or more, we can do anything. Look at them balloons come up. I ain't even, I, that's just <laughs> stuff. Y'all see that stuff come up on my screen? Yeah. I'm telling you, whenever I go on the spirit, for some reason, these crazy things come up on my screen. I don't have, I didn't plan that at all. So listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get us prayed out of here. Uh, Brother Marquise, you want to give us a prayer out of here? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, before I pray, brothers and sisters, I wanted to say something about when you turned your back, basically, to baseball, you were being tempted. Yeah. And who would let you out of temptation, just like when Satan tried to tempt him. Yep. And even though you didn't know what you were being called for, and he chased you, and you said he chases those that he loved. Yep. This was that purpose for you to bring us together to bring us to him. And I am so grateful. My wife and I, we are so grateful. And I know all of us are grateful for that, that aspect in your life because that change you had basically is changing the way, the way we are right now. So I thank and praise Yahuwah for that. And I thank you for that. I praise you. I appreciate you and Sister Lene. I see her too. Sister Lene come in there. She'll slide in a little $15. <laughs> then she'll slide and she'll be like, I love Yahoo. I see you, Sister Lene. She'll slide in a little $8, then a little 20 She is about that kingdom business consistently right. throughout the week. And I'm proud of you, sis, for that. So, Brother Marquise, pray us out of here. We're going to get back over here and get this meal going. All right. Everyone, in the name of Yahuwah, I come before we come before you, Abba. We thank you for this week that we have endured. We thank you for this day. We thank you for all that you have done for our ancestors and for leading us here to keep your word forever, not for a day, not for a week, forever, through eternity, for generations to come. And as your children, we will lead our children to your promise, to your word, to your covenant, and keep it faithfully up we love you with every being that we have in us our heart our mind and our soul and it's not for you we will not be here and as we proceed i ask Abba, Yahuwah, that you continue to watch over our family all of us lead us and guide us to your truth keep the ruach of kadesh of us to to make sure that we are on the right path and doing your work and not nothing else let nothing else stand in our way and it's in your name, Yahuwah, that we come before you and we say shalom. Hallelujah. 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 On the count of three, on the count of three, everybody Hallelujah. open your mics. We're going to say Yahuwah with all we got. Let the neighbors hear it on the count of three. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Yahuwah. Yahoo! 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 Yaho